Hello everyone, I would like to present you Alnoc variable as a Doppler flowmetry for the analysis of weaker circulatory change during intravenous infusion in patients with diabetes mellitus. Diabetic polyneuropathy is one of the common complications of diabetes mellitus and a leading cause of non-traumatic limb amputation. The aim of the study was to evaluate the change in blood microcirculation parameters during intravenous infusions of a solution of alpha-lipoid acid in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus using a system of variable laser Doppler monitors. Experimental study were carried out using four LDF monitors for the analysis of blood microcirculation. These variable monitors were attached in the planter side of the big toys and also at the palmar surface in the distal phalanx of third fingers. The study involved 10 patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus, 4 men and 6 women. The research was carried out according to the following scheme shown on the poster. Five records were made on each patient. And as a result, the index of microcirculatory shown a tendency to decrease by the time the therapy is completed. In modernic oscillations, different changes were observed in the upper and lower extremities. By the last stage, an increase in normalized oscillation in haste is observed, while in the legs, this parameter is decreased. During the treatment process, an initial change in neurogenic fluctuations are observed for the upper and lower extremities. In conclusion, I want to say that LDF method can be used to access change in hemodynamic parameters in the treatment of diabetes complications. Variable LDF monitors are capable of the estimating of the microsecutory parameters during intravenous infusion and tracking the dynamic change in parameters during treatment. The use of alpha-lipoid acid contributes to change in the regulation parameter of microsecutory blood flow, in particular fluctuations of neurogenic and myogenic origin. The research technique can be used applied not only to alpha-lipoid acid infusion, but also to study another potential treatment option. This study was founded by the Russian Science Foundation. Uh, and uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.